CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. Thanks for being here. We begin in Nanaimo where a couple is taking legal action after their dog was attacked and killed near an off-leash park. The couple says an Akita mauled their tiny terrier and the five kilogram dog simply didn't stand a chance. She was rushed to the veterinarian but didn't survive. As CTV's Chandler Grieve reports tonight, Nanaimo's Animal Control Center has launched an investigation. Sealed with a kiss, Roxy remembers her beloved diva. I'm a gay woman. I'm not going to have any children. I put all my love into that little dog. And she's dead. Come on. On a walk she has taken with her three dogs so many times before, Roxy's trio of pooches was reduced to two. She says the 13-year-old terrier was attacked and killed by another much larger dog. When the attack happened, the dog's this way, diva's here. Grabbed her, shake, shake, shake. The girls are running this way. She comes here, grabs and pulls out that way. The dog behind the attack, a large Akita, similar to this one. A teenage girl was looking after the dog on a leash when it broke free. A 16-year-old was walking an Akita. Apparently the Akita broke free and went over and attacked a smaller dog. Diva was rushed to the vet, but the damage to the small dog's ribcage and lungs was too much. The vet actually took a picture of Diva's breathing, labored breathing, and she, she said, you know, I, in all honesty, she probably won't make it to Victoria. And the vet was even crying, so of course, we were howling. And then there was two. The couple approached the teenage girl and her mother for assistance in paying the vet bill, but say they were met with resistance. I called this lady. And I said, we just had to euthanize our little girl because of the dog attack last night. And she said, well, isn't that an interesting way of putting it? The owners of the Akita were not home today to tell their side of the story, but they may soon be telling it to a judge. Roxy and Mary have filed a lawsuit in small claims court. What happens if it goes out and kills somebody else? How bad am I going to feel if I didn't fight to do everything to make sure that that dog is not going to be able to do this to somebody else? As the Nanaimo Animal Services continues to investigate the incident on Friday, they'll have one of two options according to local bylaw. Option number one is that they can label the dog a vicious dog, meaning any time it goes out in public, it will have to wear a muzzle. Or if they feel necessary, they can seize the dog and apply for an application to destroy it. With the seizure of the dog, the dog's held on to for a period of 21 days, if, and during that time we will decide whether to go for a destruct order or not. Roxy says she will continue to hang posters and warn other dog owners in the area of the incident and is planning a walk Saturday evening to remember Diva. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Nanaimo.